Hey guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here, uh, reporting for Toy News uh, International and Marvelous News. We're here with the Hasbro Marvel panel. Uh, you guys saw preview night last night, all the goodies that were out. And uh, now we're here, we're going to ask them some questions. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying everything so far. So uh, guys, thanks for having us here. What can uh, first introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Tony Fala, I'm the model artist on the Marvel brand. Hi guys, I'm Ryan Ting, I'm in marketing. Dwight Stahl, design. Um, so last night, we got a chance to look at uh, Death's Head 2. That was the first time you guys showed that. I was really excited to see that. Um, that was a throwback to the 80s, 90s look. Um, it seems like you guys are venturing towards some of the classic stuff that we haven't seen for a while now. Can you touch on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, we're trying to get a, we, we're trying to get a mix of everything out there for all of the different collectors and fans of all ages. You know, for the ones that read it that are our age, um, or the ones that are considerably younger than us as well. So we're always trying to find a way to get those, uh, you know, all the different eras represented in, in some fashion. And we kind of try to come up with wave plans that gets a decent amount of mix between the MCU and then uh, modern and classic figures, you know, mixed in as best as possible. Um, now. Will that be uh, with a uh, will that be a build a figure first off? We're not talking specifics yet about okay. what Adam Warlock and uh, Death Said Two and where they're going. All we're allowed to say as of uh, today is that they will be appearing at some point in 2017. So no definitive release dates yet for the Guardians or for the uh, the uh, those two. Yes. Okay. For I, I picked up on that. Did you guys pick up on that? Um, so what about the other figures that you showed last last night? You got uh, Shatterstar and Old Man Wolverine there. Can we expect to finish uh, maybe like a classic X-Force or um, X-Factor type of style in the near future? Um. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, no finishing of anything. We're always looking to build and, and complete those teams in time. But we do have uh, X coming. This is the uh, remainder of the X wave for uh, 2017. Okay. So, you know, um, you, you very well could see X Factor, uh, New Mutants, X Men, X Force, all of that stuff. But, you know, so far what you've seen is, is what we're talking about. Yeah, we're rolling it out piece by piece, right? We've got the 90s Cyclops coming out, we revealed it at Comic-Con, you've got the new Old Man Logan, and then that throwback Shatterstar. So here and there, we're getting to everyone's team, so hopefully your favorite uh, incarnations will be completed at some point. I, I asked about that last year, or actually at Toy Fair, I'd asked you know, if we could see a set of X-Factor, of X-Force, because those were comics that like I grew up on. I loved the classic teams. And when I saw that last night, you know, there was mixed feelings from people that I saw online, but I loved it. And that's pretty much, I took a bunch oh. of pictures of Shatterstar. I mean, I would love to get to Feral and Strong Guy and Richter and all those Ooh. different 90s characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm busting them out now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, it's, it, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, definitely <laughs> uh, got to get that. But yeah, it's all a matter of time and placing them in the right spot and find that right mix uh, to make everybody happy, not just that 90s fan, but also people that read now. Uh, 70s, 80s. I'm just trying to get a good mix. And it's cool that in the comics recently, a lot of those characters have kind of been reintroduced to the newer generation. That's right. And, and even with the X-Men 92 book that's out, it's like kind of bringing that up. Yeah, and exactly. And Jim Lee Cyclops is relevant again. Yep. Uh, and he's always had great costumes anyway, so. Now, um, one thing that I've, I've heard people um, talking about was with the San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con sets. Uh, some people were a little disappointed that we're seeing Sandman and uh, Enchantress so soon after the sets. Other people love it because they weren't able to get the set and now you have it in mass retail, which I think is awesome. Um, I know you guys can't maybe touch on the Star Wars thing, but Star Wars over the last couple of years, we've seen them introduced in a box set and then re-released without some of the accessories down the road. Uh, are you guys kind of taken that same path where uh, the molds will be introduced and then um, mass release later on or is this just kind of coincidence that it happened with these two figures? Uh, no, I think uh, some of the stuff you will see make it out there. You know, some characters deserve a bigger run than what we do for the 
Comic Con sets. But one thing we do work hard to do if we are going to bring something from a, an exclusive like that and bring it forward is to make it new and fresh and different again, um, regardless of how soon thereafter it, it comes out. You know, Sandman is is you know drastically different than what he, than as he appeared uh, in the box set, and even Enchantress. If you look at him side by side, there's different body parts that actually make that figure now, mm -hmm. and different deco as well. So when we do bring those back out into more of a uh, a larger mainstream release, you know, we're going to try to make them different so that if you did invest in the Comic Con set or whatever was sold at you know at San Diego, that's still special and unique, and we're trying to make sure that we don't ruin. Um, the chase of getting those, you know, the special items. And sometimes it's, it's a subtle change too, even with the Dormammu. It's a different uh, color scheme on him mm -hmm. as it was as in the uh, San Diego. So there's different things that were, even if it's just subtle, it's different. So we don't want to put the same exact deco out oh, there. So. And same with like the Abomination. Yeah. You know, that was a different color scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely yeah. different uh, technique on it too. It's uh, more oversprays than washes. And, so we're trying to look at different ways to present that same figure, but differently. So you can have both of those on shelf, or you can see the, the difference. The yeah. Sandman looks awesome. The alternate head, the alternate hands. I, I think it's definitely, uh, you know, it's nice to have the regular Sandman and the vault set, and then now have this, mm -hmm. or the raft set, I'm sorry. Um, so you also showed the, uh, is it going to be the Spider-Man wave, right? It's, it's the, yeah, it's the Spider-Man wave. Do we have a release date for that, when we could expect that in retail? We don't have uh, an exact release date, but that's going to be our first wave for 2017, so look for it in the first couple of months. For okay. sure. yeah. um, and as far as like distribution, I know a lot of the waves kind of all hit at the same time recently. Was that planned, accidental, or will we continue to see like a, a good amount of distribution of all the waves so everybody can, can get them? Yeah, we're trying to, you know, we took that feedback back from the fans. There's some, some of them feel a little bit of pressure when everything comes out at once. For 17, we do have three big movies anchored at different points throughout the year with Guardians and Spider-Man and Thor. So that kind of helps inform where our movie and non-movie waves go. And just moving forward as we're planning 18 right now, we're trying to make it so that every month or two we have newness as opposed to it all hitting at the same time. Okay. So we're working with, you know, our regional partners as well. Yeah, and I know, uh, well, for my area, I know, like, the uh, Captain America wave um, from the movie, the uh, the displays didn't hit Walmart until almost the same time as, like, the X-Men were coming. And, you, you know, we got shipments here and there, but then all of a sudden you had this big display that was a little behind, and then you got all the X-Men. I love them, so I, I grabbed everything, you know, but, uh, you know, I know some people were saying that, like you said, it was, it was a little bit of a rush where some... Some people were like, oh, should I get this or should, should I get that? Yeah. Um, Miss Marvel, the new Miss Marvel, uh, what wave will she be in? She's wave one of, uh, of 17 as well. What, uh, Spider-Man? Spider she's Spider-Man Spider Spider too. Okay. The, we have her right there. You, she, he comes, she comes with the uh, Sandman torso piece there. Okay. Yeah, I was just looking where it, it you know, the other ones have, say Spider-Man and Miss Marvel just says Miss Marvel, but obviously she's, oh, gotcha. so yeah, that's yeah. why I, just the confusion, a couple people had asked about that. Um, uh, Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is there any uh, anything new on those like galactic properties? Uh, have you guys acquired them, or are will we see any uh, figures for those anytime soon? Um, most of those properties we have the rights to. We always have. Um, we showed Sue at uh, San Diego, um, the first uh, uh, team member of the, of, the, of the Fantastic Four. Um, we're st we still have not announced where that's going yet. No, we haven't. But so, it would probably it would be mean to just introduce Sue by herself. That would right? be, that so, would be pretty low. Yeah, I would probably you know do that to folks. But yeah. more to come. Uh, New York Toy Fair revealed next year. What about uh, the Watcher? Do you think there's any way we can get like a a nice build a figure Watcher? Um, you know, that would be a nice size, a decent guy with a big head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it would fit into everybody's criteria with build a figure and size wise and other characters that we haven't even seen in the past except for the um, uh, Marvel Select figure, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Char uh, characters like uh, Watsu well, could definitely find a home uh, when the time's right or the property or a property syncs up with us for, for us to include him in. 
Okay. Um, could you guys give me, could each of you give me like your top three figures that you hope one day you could work on? Or if you did work on it already, what would be your top three figures? Um, top three. I want the Ravengers, the Australian uh, biker cyborgs from the X-Men. I want all of them. So I guess that's more than three all right there. <laughs> but uh, I, I definitely want those guys uh, done. Um, I want to get a, uh, a bite at Apocalypse. I think he would be awesome if we could do him. And uh, um, I, I wouldn't mind seeing the War Machine that was the half tank version. I think there'd be something kind of just ridiculous about, you know, a tank treaded, you know, war machine with 70,000 weapons piled upon him. Uh, it's just kind of an oddball one, but I think that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big X-Men fan, so I'd love to get to Tiger Stripe Wolverine. We've got a, a new body for, you know, the brown suit in 16s, so and we've got Old Man Logan, so who knows what we can get to in the future. You know, a guy like Multiple Man, someone that hasn't been out, where it's kind of like a troop building uh, type play there, which the team did with Nick Fury from the Cap Wave, including those two alternate heads, so I would think uh, those are the ones I'd like to get to. Uh, Sauron, Mr. Hyde. And Blade, top three. And, all right, last last question. Since you said Sauron yeah. and Blade, oh, yeah. um, I know Blade was supposed to come out, was put on the back burner, and then you guys put Sauron in a display. Yeah, that it, was me being selfish and making customs. Okay. And trying to sneak them in the line. But okay. Dwight's blocking me. Oh, come on, Dwight. Wow. Come on, really? <laughs> That's how it's going really? to go down. It's not really Dwight. But, but uh, you two, this, I vetoed this entire uh, conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now we're, we're trying to get them in. Those are just uh, characters I really like and wanted to add something to display. Uh, so we're hoping to get those in. It's so everybody that saw that and there was rumors. Yeah. Right now they were just customs. That, that was just customs up. for me okay. to tease everybody online. We like to throw those things into the, into the big shows just to get people to talk and yeah. to, to, and, to spread, and the, obviously good, it worked. spread yeah. the good word of Marvel. Okay. But we can use that when people are talking about it. We can use that as leverage to, hey, look, there's some demand for this stuff. So okay. that's really why we do it. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thanks for having us. And I uh, can't look, uh, I'm looking forward to Toy Fair and seeing what else we'll be getting in the near future. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome.